nature of multicollinearity. Originally, the concept of multicollinearity refers to the existence of a perfect or exactly linear relationship among some or all explanatory variables of a regression model. Suppose we have the three variable regression model where we have two independent variables and one dependent variable. The question is if there is a perfect linear relationship between the two independent variables. What will happen under the topic of multicollinearity? Our concern is only with the set of independent variables. We are not interested in the dependent variable. I mean to say that we want to know the nature of the relationship between or among the set of independent variables. Suppose we have three variables in our model. One is the dependent variable and two are the independent variables when we discuss the topic of multicollinearity it means that we are interested to know the relationship between our independent variables if we have four variables or five variables so on the right hand side of the regression model we are interested to know the relationship between the set of independent variables when you will look into different series of economic data you will find that variables are interconnected with each other for example if you have a gdp time series data or if you have uh, suppose the consumption data when you will compare both data sets you will conclude that yes there is a relationship between gdp and consumption or suppose if you have the price data and the quantity demanded data you will conclude that yes there is a relationship between these two variables or if you have different variables or different indicators of finance it means that there is a somewhat relationship between your independent variables one variable is affecting the second variable and second variable is affecting the third one either by a direct way or an indirect way but there is a relationship i mean to say that if you will take any two economic variables there is somewhat relationship exists maybe the relationship is a direct one or an indirect one but a relationship is there now the question is that if this relationship between two or more than two variables is perfect it means we have the problem of multicollinearity in our data and if we have the problem of multicollinearity in our data set it means that we will face many issues we would not be able to get the parameter values beta 2 beta 3 and so on so actually the concept of multicollinearity was developed by Regner Fresh. The concept of perfect multicollinearity or exact multicollinearity means linear relationship among some or all explanatory variables of a regression model. For example, we have the K variable regression model involving explanatory variables X1, X2, X3, X4. But now look at here. In the bracket, we are saying that x1 is equal to 1 for all observations to allow for the intersect term. So it means that suppose if we are including our x1 variable and again we are saying that each value of the x1 series is 1. It means that our x1 variable is not an explanatory variable but it is an intersect term. For example, y is equal to x1 plus x2. Suppose we have two independent variable and one is independent variable. But I am assuming that each value of the X1 series or each value of the X1 independent variable is one. It means my X1 variable will denote only the intercept term. It means that we are just incorporating the effect of the intercept term in our regression model. Anyhow, we have k variables x1 x2 x3 up to xk x1 variable will represent the intercept term x2 variable will be the first independent variable x3 will be the second independent variable and so on as you know that there must be a relationship between any two 
are more than two economic variables but if this relationship between two are more than two economic variables is exact i mean to say that if there is an exact linear relationship between the set of independent variables look at this equation 10.11 for example lambda 1 x1 plus lambda 2 x2 plus lambda 3 x3 plus lambda k xk is equal to zero where lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda k are constant such that not all of them are zero simultaneously it means that lambda 1 lambda 2 they are constant numbers maybe uh, their values uh, are 2 3 4 minus plus but these values are not zero numbers look at we are including x1 x2 xk these are the independent variables i am not interested to include the y variable mean the dependent variable because multicollinearity refers to investigate the linear relationship between the set of independent variables that's why we are just including our independent variables in this regression model now look at 10.11 mean the basic uh, relationship among these independent variables if this relationship exists what is your opinion it means that these variables are perfectly linearly related with each other if the variables are perfectly linearly related to each other it means that we have the case of perfect multicollinearity or we have the case of exact multicollinearity nowadays the concept of multicollinearity is used in a broader sense to include the case where the x variables are intercorrelated but not perfectly so the first equation actually represents the perfect linear relationship among these explanatory variables this is a linear equation and the relationship between these given explanatory variables is perfect are exact but nowadays in the broader sense researchers are using the set of x variables that are in that are intercorrelated with each other but their relationship is not perfect keep in mind perfect in the sense for example 100 percent it means that if you increase x1 by 1 and your x2 increases by the square of that for example let me give you a very simple example then you would be understand this uh model for example if i say that x1 is equal to 2x2 it means that my x variable value is the product of two times of the x2 so x1 is equal to 2x2 if x2 value is suppose one or if that variable is in the square term for example x1 is equal to 2x square or and so on it means that if we are changing a single value so constantly our second value is changing it means that there is a specific relationship i will give you many examples by giving you a hypothetical data then you would be able to understand but anyhow for the sake of simplicity this equation refers the exact linear relationship among our explanatory variables but look at equation 10.1.2 is there any difference between the two models or the two equations actually both equations represent the case of multi but in the first case that relationship among the explanatory variables is perfect but in the second case this relationship between two or more than two variables is not perfect it is not an exact linear relationship if the relationship between or among variables is not perfect so we can say that this is a less than perfect relationship or we can say that approximate relationship or we can say that near exact or near perfect but this is not a perfect relationship why because in this equation we have the stochastic error term it means that this stochastic error term have a relationship with these variables this is a random variable it means that this random variable will affect 
the set of independent variables because in uh, equation one we have the case of perfect multicollinearity but in the case of equation two we have less than perfect multicollinearity what is the difference between the two to see the difference between perfect and less than perfect multicollinearity we can write the first equation in this form it means that we are just keeping x2 variable on the left hand side of the equation so we have x2 lambda 2 if we are keeping x2 on the left hand side of the equation we will move the remaining terms to the right hand side and then we will divide each term of the equation by lambda 2 by this way we can get the value of x2 this is the equation i need the value of x2 how i can get this particular value lambda 2 x2 will be on one side and we will shift the remaining terms to the right hand side of this equation so on the left hand side we will get lambda 2 x2 and all the terms will shift to the right hand side then what we will do we will divide each and every term by lambda 2 to get the value of x2 we are just dividing each and every term by lambda 2 so lambda 1 x1 t by lambda 2 lambda 3 x t and just we are keeping the lambda terms uh, on one side because these terms are constants look at this equation this equation actually shows that how x1 is exactly linearly related to other variables x2 is the independent variable it means that how this independent variable is exactly linearly related to the remaining set of independent variables if this is the case it means that if there is the case of perfect multicollinearity the coefficient of correlation between the variable x2 and the linear combination of the remaining x variables is bound to be unity if this is the case if there is the case of perfect multicollinearity in your data set and if you calculate the correlation coefficient by using the pearson correlation formula if you calculate the correlation between this x2 variable suppose with x1 or x2 with x3 x2 with xk and so on if you measure the correlation coefficient of this x2 variable with any pair of the remaining explanatory variables your answer will be one why because we have perfect relationship perfect linear relationship between x2 with each and every independent variable very simple means if the relationship between x2 with the remaining independent variables is perfect it means the correlation coefficient value between the variable x2 and the selected independent variable will be one now look at the second case this equation 10.1.2 i need the value of x2 so this is the same equation like the first one but we have the addition of vi can we get equation 10.1.4 in the result there is only the addition of stochastic variable there is nothing else now this equation shows that x2 is not an exact linear combination of the other x variables why because it is also determined by the stochastic error term it means that in this equation we have the addition of yi sorry vi the stochastic error term it means that now the relationship with x2 with x1 with x3 with xk and so on is not a perfectly linear so in this case we have the case of less than perfect multicollinearity when we have the addition of stochastic disturbance term in our model it means that 
the relationship between any two variables is not a perfect. Actually, the case of perfect multicollinearity is an extreme case. But most often, the case of less than perfect multicollinearity is found in the literature. Look at this example. This is a numerical data. We have x2, x3. Look at x2 values 10, 15, 18, 24, 30. Look at x3 50, 75, 90, 120, 150. Can you guess about the relationship between x2 and x3? Can I say that x3 is equal to 5x2? Suppose x2 value is 10. So we will get the value of x3 50. 10. It means that if we are just changing the value of x by 1, the value of x3 changes by 5 times. So simply we can say that x3 is equal to 5xi. This is the case of perfect multicollinearity. If you calculate the coefficient of correlation between x2 and x3, which is denoted by R23, mean the correlation coefficient between x2 and x3, what will be your answer? Correlation coefficient refers the linear relationship are the extent of linear relationship between two independent variables. So if we calculate the correlation coefficient between x2 and x3, we will get the value of R2, 3, 1. Now look at the variable x star 3. The variable x star 3 was created from x3 by simply adding it to the following numbers. We have just added some random numbers with the x3 variable and in a result we get x star 3 look at the difference between x3 and x star 3 we have added a random number of 2 with this value and 52 is the result here we are adding 0 with 75 that's why we are getting the same result Similarly, with this 90, we are adding 7. We are getting 97. And same is the case with the remaining observations. Look at the first case. x3 is equal to 5x2. This is the case of perfect multicollinearity. If you are having the case of perfect multicollinearity, it means the coefficient of correlation will be 1. But now, look at the second case. There is no longer perfect multicollinearity between x2 and x3 star. Why? Because x3 is equal to 5x2 plus vi. Is there any difference between these two relationships? Yes, it means that, that we are adding a set of random numbers with the variable x2. And, and the result we are getting x3 star so in this case we have no longer perfect multicollinearity between x2 and x3 star but we can say that the two variables are highly correlated because calculations will show that the coefficient of correlation between them is suppose 0 0.9 0 0.9959 very simply look at you have x2 variable and x3 variable this is the data of x2 variable we have five observations on x2 variable and similarly we have five observations on x3 the relationship between x2 and x3 is a perfectly linear one if you calculate the coefficient of correlation between x2 and x3 your answer will be one but if you calculate the relationship between x2 and x3 it means the calculated value of the correlation coefficient between these these two variables will not be one and its value will be less than one if the correlation coefficient value between the two variables is one 
it means we have the case of perfect multicollinearity. But on the other hand, if the calculated value, the calculated coefficient of correlation value between any two variables is less than one, it means we have the case of less than perfect multicollinearity. Now I am giving you a very practical example. Look at this figure. I have three variables. One is y. Y is the dependent variable. X2 and X3. X2 is the first independent variable, and X3 is the second independent variable. It means X2 and X3 circles represent variation in the independent variables, and Y circle represent variation in the dependent variable. Look at case number one. Case A, no collinearity. If there is no overlap, if they are independent, it means we have no relationship between X2 and X3. There will be no overlap. If there is no overlap, it means we have no collinearity. Look at case B, low collinearity. X2 and X3 are overlapped. There is a relationship but that relationship is low, maybe 0 0.2. If you calculate the correlation coefficient between X2 and X3, maybe you will get 0 0.1 or 0 0.15. Look at case C. Now, this relationship is a little bit higher than the case B. This is known as moderate multicollinearity. And if you calculate maybe you will get the value 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 or maybe 0 0.6 look at case d higher collinearity because the overlap is more as compared to the previous cases but what about the last case maybe 80 percent 90 percent or maybe 85 percent mean 0 0.85 this is the case of higher collinearity if x2 and x3 completely overlap it means that x2 circle will completely will lie completely inside x3 it means that the collinearity between the two concepts would be perfect one suppose if you have only two explanatory variables or if you have only two independent variables how you will find the connection or the intercorrelation between these two variables what you will do you will apply the simple correlation coefficient by the simple correlation coefficient you will measure the interconnection between these two independent variables but if there are more than two x variables i mean to say that if there are more than two independent variables for example x2 x3 and x4 what you will do you will use the concept of multiple correlation coefficient to measure the degree of the relationship between these three variables so this is just uh, uh, in terms of simple correlation coefficient and multiple correlation coefficient it means that if you have the case of two independent variables you will use the concept of simple correlation coefficient but if you have more than two variables more than two independent variables you will use the concept of multiple correlation coefficient actually multicollinearity refers to the existence of more than one exact linear relationship multicollinearity refers the existence of more than one linear relationship for example you have five independent variables it is possible that there may be a single linear relationship it is also possible that there may be two linear relationships or three it means there is a possibility of more than one linear relationship so when we are talking about the concept of multicollinearity so multicollinearity refers to the existence of more than one exact linear relationship
but what about the collinearity actually the collinearity refers to the existence of a single linear relationship multi collinearity refers only to linear relationship among the x variables it does not rule out non linear relationship among them for example look at this model yi is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 xi plus beta 2 x square i plus beta 3 x cube i non linear why because we have a square term as well as we have a cube term so the variables are non linear now suppose if y represents the total cost of production of a business firm and y represents output so we have two variables one is y one is x but this is the square term of this x and this is the cube this cube term uh, variable represents x so we have two variables y and xi the variables x square i mean output square and x cube i output label are obviously functionally related to xi because this x cube and x square is functionally related to xi but the relationship is non linear now the question is what does the classical linear regression model assume that there is no multi collinearity among the x now i think uh you are very familiar with the case of multi collinearity but the question is that if we are saying that there must not be a multi collinearity in our data set but the question is if there is multi collinearity what will happen if multi collinearity is perfect if you have the case of perfect multi collinearity the regression coefficients of the x variable are interdeterminate look at this word the regression coefficients for example beta 2 beta 3 and so on they are indeterminate indeterminate mean that you cannot determine your regression coefficients you cannot get the value of beta 2 beta 3 beta 4 and so on and their standard errors are infinite it mean that if you calculate the standard error of beta 2 beta 3 you will get the answer in infinity suppose we have these two variables x2 and x3 when you will design a model so you will write that uh, y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3 plus ui this is your model if you have the case of perfect multi collinearity it means that if the relationship between x2 and x3 is a perfect linear one it means that you cannot estimate the value of beta 2 and beta 3 your coefficients estimates are indeterminate and the standard errors will be infinite that's why this is a very serious problem if you have the case of perfect multi collinearity but if multi collinearity is less than perfect i mean to say if there is a case of nearly or near perfect linear relationship then the regression coefficients are do determinate it means that if you have the case of less than perfect multi collinearity you can determine the regression coefficients values but their standard errors will be very large which means the coefficients cannot be estimated with great accuracy it means that although you will get values for your coefficient estimates i mean to say that you will get the value of beta 2 and beta 3 but these coefficients value will not be precise these coefficients value will not be accurate how this will affect the regression analysis of a researcher you you are estimating your model but you are getting insignificant variables in other words you are getting insignificant variables although your variables are significant 
but the regression analysis but the research software provides you an answer that your all variables are significant insignificant or most of your variables are insignificant but theoretically they are significant